Since the time I was little, every time I step on the field, I feel the most comfortable in the center of the field, kind of in the middle of things. I like to be involved. I like to help the team, you know, find a rhythm and, and make it hard for the other team in the midfield and coming away with balls, coming away with tackles. That's what I enjoy. I was born in Princeton, New Jersey, and I grew up, uh, you know, playing on different club teams in Princeton. And then we moved to, to Chicago. And when we moved to Chicago, I started up with the Chicago Soccers. Chicago, the winters are, are long and hard there, and they have, a, a, you know, like an indoor facility. School would end at 3 o'clock or whatever, and my mom would drop me off. She'd come back 7, 7.30, and I'd get in any game that I could, any training. I was playing every day. That was all I wanted to do. You know, Mike, his biggest thing is will to win. You know, not only in game, but every tackle and every challenge. And right down the center of the park, that's something you love on the team. You have to have a desire to tackle. You have to have a desire to want to get in and win the ball. And it's because of that that he dominates. He won't be taken advantage of, not in the middle of the park, not by the best players, not by the worst. You know, you look at the best midfielders in the world and their ability to tackle and come away with balls, that's, it's, it's important. Like a little pit bull, like running around in there, just wrecking havoc. The number 10s on the other team hate that. At a certain point, you started playing on the state team or the regional team. You'd start to play against the best teams and the best players in the country. If you're serious about soccer and you're playing at a pretty high level, to, to be invited into residency and to go down to Bradenton, to live in Florida with the national team, playing and training with these guys every day, and you know, what more could you ask for? In Bradenton, you know, there was college coaches around all the time, but it had been my dream to play professionally, and I, it, I knew it was what I wanted to do. I knew if I had the chance that I was going to not think twice, and I was going to see if I could really, you know, make a, a career out of it. I had the opportunity to come to Europe and, and start to prove myself here. When he first went to Europe, I thought, wow, he's gone to a fairly decent club in Holland. I wonder how this is going to work out. Being an American kid growing up, you really don't know how it works over here in Europe. You're asked to perform at the ultimate level, day in and day out. And I think a lot of players, you'll find, have had problems with that. It's easy for everybody to say, ah, I want to be a professional. I want to play in Europe. But nothing comes for free, and you know, nothing is, is given to you. To be able to have the, the mentality and the commitment that no matter what, you're going to come and you're going to take the good with the bad and deal with not playing, deal with a coach that doesn't like you, deal with being hurt, deal with the bad weather. The more guys we have who understand that and who are, are excited by that challenge can only be good. Michael works really, really hard at all the little things that make people successful. He's determined, he's competitive. Tactically, he knows where he needs to be, and he's just a student of the game. He came on, he was a bit young and a little raw still, you know, always had the work rate, but now he's kind of honing his game and he's really becoming more comfortable and coming into his own in the center of the park. He knows when to make a pass, he knows when to hook the ball clear out of danger. He has the ability to hit long passes, but he, he does a great job of mixing it up. If every time you got the ball, you were trying to hit a 60-yard ball across the field, you'd drive your teammates crazy. He doesn't always hit long balls. He doesn't always keep it short. He just kind of mixes up the flow of his passes. If guys like Clint and Landon are in good spots, 10, 15, 20 yards ahead of me, to be able to play forward to these guys quickly and then move off of them, that mobility and that movement is how uh, you know good teams create chances. I love Michael. I love playing with him. I think when you're standing in the tunnel and you're looking around, you think, who do I want to be out there with? And Michael is a guy that when I walk past him and I see him there, I feel more confident. From the time I played in New York to Holland to now Germany and with the national team, the most important thing has always been trying to play well and do the things that I do to help my team. Whatever game we're playing in to try to help my team win.